Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake again. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to start things off by giving a shout out to Yornick, who left a comment that says, The line between stupid and straight up idiotic doesn't exist in Night Springs. The final countdown performed on kazoos and sped up starts to play. <laughs> I love that. That's very silly indeed. I'd also like to give a shout out to uh, Elthwar, who comments on something I said mostly as a joke, but he makes an interesting point on this, saying, I don't think the Bureau was big on therapy in the 70s, especially since I don't think they are big on therapy during the events of Control as well. Uh, it was mentioned that uh, there was another incident in Bright Falls uh, in 1976. I think they suggested that... Uh, an old Gods of Asgard concert turned into a bizarre weather incident. Like this horrible storm. But yes, I think the report on the 1976 incident assumed it was a one-off Fortean weather phenomenon and not an extra-dimensional threat, since they couldn't confirm the existence of a threshold that or a threshold that caused the storm. Yeah, that makes more sense if you've uh, played Control. But that implies that dormant entities have thresholds the Bureau can't always find. You know, the dark presence flying under the radar raises the possibility of other sleeping threats that nobody knows about. Oh boy. Well, let's sure check this thing. Trigger that checkpoint again. Or not again, after all this time. No oh, fuck, those are lithium. Ah, well. What do we got here? When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Look at the top of the mountain. What in the fuck is that? I don't think that's supposed to be happening. Not up or down, just left and right. Weird. Hell yeah. Am I seriously wondering if it's possible to jump from there to there? And then I guess to there? I can't tell if that board there is uh, in front of or behind that. I guess that wasn't even the right direction for that weird mine anyway. That's a new one though, just follow. Oh, I like that. When you get out of the distance. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's neat. I'll bring the car around. Meanwhile, Alan doesn't realize it, but the back of this truck, which is closed up, actually contains a whole shitload of guns. Yeah, this truck was being used for weapons uh, smuggling. <laughs> uh. Okay, so it looks like, you know, nobody's lived here in a century and a half, but there's a bag of trash right there next to a tire. First things first, go the wrong way. Let's turn around, there's a fucking armchair there. Now, what is this? There's no sign or anything. There's a bunch of shit out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Really? Oh my god. 
Okay. That was kind of embarrassing. Good to know. Don't... Mm. Alan, you're blinding yourself. It's not good for your eyes. Oh! Was I really pushing that? Yep. Or maybe that's just why I stopped. Here, I was wondering if I was, uh, blocking off anything behind it. Big pile of ammo, that could be a trap. So I'm going to check that out. Oh, there's no corner here after all. Excuse me, Beryl. That's always a good sign. Oh, yeah, I've got that. Oh! On the ground, I missed that one. Give her to you. She's here. Okay, fuck that. Let's kite this guy back over to this light here. Oh, he's coming, I can see him. It's not working! Wow, that was really close. I didn't enjoy that. Holloway and Company. Established 1929. Mining, supplies, repairs, and maintenance. I have questions. Oh no, wait! Shit. realized it was actually letting me do that even though I had full ammo. That's not cool. Now that gun doesn't exist anymore. Actually, maybe we've hit on a solution to something here. <laughs> Fuck this, there's a lot of big guys coming. That's right, I murdered your friends and I'm not sorry.
No! Who wants to exist? I do! That's another chainsaw, god damn. Oh, hey! And we're running. No! Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, I don't love this. Ugh. I do not wish to be stabbed with a chainsaw, thank you. What did I just say, asshole? Damn, that was devastating. I mean, I didn't doubt it wouldn't. It would be. I thought there was going to be a one-hit kill, but Jesus. Take my sweatshirt off to get serious. Huh? Oh right, all this shit I picked up. Ah. Oh. No. Well, at least I don't have to poke my nose into every corner now. Oh yeah, the truck is already in that same position. I wasn't moving it at all. Seriously, Alan, you gasp at that, but not from any of the horrific shit you've seen. Like, even imagining for a second this got full media coverage and everyone in the world became aware of the dark presence. Oh yeah, that must be how she did that. Uh... Imagine, even then, how much therapy Alan would need to be okay after all of this. Like, the dark is killing people, but it's making Alan put them in the ground. I will never give her to you. Gotta get to her, that, uh, spotlight. Saw that. That was a uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre reference, shaking it around like that. At least I think it was. Oh, hey, this time. Okay. Incoming! Ah, yes. I see. Oh, shit.
Okay, fuck you guys. Seriously. Eat a dick! It didn't work! Oh my god! I did not have a backup plan for that. Stay back! I see. No! <sighs> or that doesn't work, but still. Oh, for God's sake, Alan. Under the circumstances. I think it's hunting rifle time. I can't believe I used up all those shells. Well, yes I can. The Taken are very tenacious. This is not the correct building. Yeah, that'll do. Fucking wagon wheel over here. This place is really weird. It gives every sign of being a ghost town, but with a bunch of modern stuff in it. You know, if it weren't for the fact that there's a fucking generator here, I would wonder if this was, uh, oh. The staircase doesn't seem to go anywhere. That's yeah, not weird at all. Let's not even get started on stuff in wells. You know, it being a horror story and everything. These are the chainsaw guy emerged from. Huh, they played that exactly like one of those uh, bits I've seen a million times where it's like, Oh, you couldn't leave this area until this enemy kicked a door open to come get you. But, uh, there was another door, which is, uh, odd. <laughs> I guess it is heavier than it probably looks. Oh! Fucking hell, I didn't even see that! Why does he keep going to that one? Is it, where's the mouse? Oh yeah, the mouse is there, that's why. The Dark Place. Capital D, capital P. The dark place I found myself in was huh. unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid. It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me. The words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. Well, that's ominous as all get out, isn't it? And honestly, after everything we've seen, that is exactly how I expected the Dark Place to be described. Subjective. It's raw... Okay, those are my footsteps. It was raw creativity, is what I'm trying to say. Which is ironic, because it's where the dark lives. Whoops. Uh, look out below! Timber! Four? <laughs> Oh, 
I guess it's a manifestation of what the dark does other than destroying, you know? Sorry about that. I was just saying, you know, maybe that was uh, how they trapped the Dark Presence in the first place. I kind of like the swivel he does when you turn the camera while it's in slow motion. Or afterwards, more accurately. Very professional. Check those corners. But, uh... Yeah, maybe you... Maybe you seal up something that is made out of pure destruction by locking it up in a place that's made of pure creativity, so it has nothing to, you know, latch on to. And it's using that power to empower the artists? The I don't know. In the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. I think they just wanted me to see the birds. that light again. Well, that's weird. Why is it on top? Oh, I don't need to reload. Look at that. Oh. I thought this was going to be a gondola station. Are you fucking kidding me? I have no memory of this. timer just go? Yes, okay. The, uh, the timer did go. So, uh, before we go on this, you know, extremely well thought out ride, <laughs> uh, I'll call it here. Oh, awesome. Even better. Twelve, okay. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake again! I guess we need to head in the direction of Mirror Peak in order to uh, head in the direction of Cauldron Lake. We're going to dive in, we're going to go to the dark place itself, and we're going to use the clicker to light our darkest hour! So help me God. What's up, thought? <laughs> Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. And stay in the light. <laughs>